Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for this webcast entitled The Essentials of Integrated Electrical Design in 22 Minutes. My name is Louis Feinstein. I'm a mem member of the product management team here at SolidWorks. Business pressures and challenges for the success. In today's business environment, companies must address many, many different factors in order to be successful. A key business driver for companies today is innovation. Fin finding the best and newest products that support leadership in their market or gaining additional market share. These are the worries that keep managers awake at night. By creating better, more effective products, processes, and technologies that are acceptable is not that straightforward. Certainly, companies are striving to design innovative products while reducing product development cost and accelerating time to market. Therefore, companies need to find the right product development cycles to balance the cost and time to market. This balance ensures that the best cost-effective products are developed meeting the needs of their existing and future prospects. The pace of product innovation has increased dramatically in a vast majority of the industries such as high-tech, life sciences, and consumer goods. Companies are evolving and optimizing their product development cycles to answer these business pressures. Poll question number one. Does your current electrical design process and tools adequately address your business requirements? Right now we're going to talk about a SolidWorks Electrical's unique capabilities and a term terminology that we're talking about is the convergence from logical to physical. This is where we take the, lo the electrical logical and we merge it with the mechanical physical creating a new paradigm that we are calling electrical 3D. Real-time integration of schematic and 3D CAD system design. Synchronized electromechanical system design is what we're creating. What's, what SolidWorks Electrical is not circuit design is not circuit design, circuit simulation, PCB layout. SolidWorks Electrical is electrical system design, allowing for cabinet design, advanced electrical interconnect design, and harness development. In addition to the use of single line schematics, multi line schematics, power and logic schematics, and PLC logic. Why SolidWorks Electrical? It may be best to start out by sharing some of what we've learned through surveys and interviews with hundreds of our customers over the past year. When we asked them about inefficiencies in their current process, we found several recurring themes that led us to release SolidWorks Electrical. First, we learned that many were, were using tools that they described as cumbersome or unproductive. Our customers shared that their current schematic tools were difficult to use. They felt that the electrical functionality seemed to be bolted onto an existing product or as an afterthought, making the software harder to learn and more complex than it needed to be. They also revealed that sharing data was difficult across their own teams, not to mention with their mechanical design team counterparts and even worse with the purchasing groups where the data was needed to be integrated into the ERP and MRP systems. The second theme was the desire to reduce errors since errors were a significant cause of rework, wasted money, and longer time to market. As we explore these issues we will learn that many of these errors were the result of poor collaboration capabilities of existing software systems. Some contributors to this poor collaboration capability were the dependencies on XML files and therefore no automatic or real-time updates to team members was available. And a lot of the integration such as cable routing was done in the field or on the shop floor. What we're looking at is the standard traditional electromechanical process where we develop the electrical schematics, the mechanical design, we integrate and document them and we produce them in manufacturing. We felt there was a better way. Being able to work in parallel instead of sequential is much a better way to work. Issues can be found earlier in the process and allowing for better business decisions to be made earlier. In order to do, to do this, we realized that new tools were needed to replace the traditional and current tools in the marketplace. Strategic issues being addressed by SolidWorks Electrical. Basic 2D CAD is too limiting. Reuse of existing design data and designs was, was ineffective. Separate bills of material for electrical, mechanical, and system level. Collaboration cha challenges between teams. 
integration of electrical systems into products, consistency of product manufacturing, and coordination between systems such as hydraulic, pneumatic, and electrical systems within, within the main assembly. SOLIDWORKS ELECTRICAL PRODUCTS To provide a better way, we introduce SOLIDWORKS ELECTRICAL PRODUCTS that we're going to show you today. First, we have SOLIDWORKS ELECTRICAL, a standalone tool for developing schematics, reports, and other supporting documentation. As well as SOLIDWORKS ELECTRICAL 3D, an add-on for any SOLIDWORKS license that leverages the schematic data to help designers populate 3D mechanical models, route wires, create single documentation package for the entire electromechanical design. What sets this solution apart from, other, from others is that SOLIDWORKS Electrical is that we enable real-time collaboration between the electrical and mechanical designers with any project. When, whenever the electrical designer adds a component in the schematic, all others working on the same project will see the changes instantly. This way, the electrical designers will be aware of the changes and the mechanical designers will see the device ready for insertion in their feature manager within SOLIDWORKS. Conversely, if the mechanical designer adds electrical components such as pumps, actuators, or sensors to the assembly, the electrical team will know to add the new devices along with the appropriate power, protection, and control circuitry. Again, this all happens in real time without the need for any individual updates or neutral exchange files, improving collaboration and accuracy for all users. For the single users who need to perform both schematic and 3D tasks, we offer a combined solution called SOLIDWORKS Electrical Professional, which combines all schematic and 3D functionality into a single license. Right now, we're going to take a look at product exploration. Today's exploration will take a look at an industrial automation example where Sebastian will play the part of, of both the electrical and mechanical designer. We'll explore various schematic capabilities the bi-directional functionality, auto-routing of wires, and the generation of reports. Keep in mind that although this is all happening on one machine, this process would be identical and just as fast if we had many users on the project. If you have any questions about what we're showing, please type your questions so we can help clarify. And now I'd like to turn this over to Sebastian to show you SOLIDWORKS Electrical. Hello, uh, today I have got um a short period of time to show you some of the features which are available inside SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2D and 3D. Uh, currently we're looking at SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2D. You can see that I've got a project to open over here on the left hand side in the Documents Manager and you can see the different type of documents which are available, so cover sheets, drawing lists. Uh, we've got an overview which is a, a line diagram, wiring diagram, single line diagram, however you prefer to call it, which is a, a summary of the overall uh, schematic design. I've also got some power and control circuits here. I've just opened up um, a power circuit and in here you can see that we've got um, a few circuits and symbols placed. What I'm going to do is just complete this circuit by going to our macros tab, selecting a partial uh, DOL, or Direct Online Starter circuit, and placing that down like so. You can see that all of the items are automatically numbered and they're individual entities rather than um, just a complete block. Uh, the first thing uh, that we can notice is that the text on this symbol is over on the right hand side where it's on the left hand side on all of the others. So what I'm going to do is just choose to replace that symbol and from the symbols library I'm going to select another one where the data is justified on the left just to clean up my design a little bit. Um, I also need to place some power contactors in there and if we go over to the components tab we can see here that we've got a relay or coil KM1 and we've got an instantaneous relay and what we can do is just select to go to that on the other drawing um, which is the control circuit and here we can see that a couple of the contacts are already in use um, but we've got a three phase normally open power contactor which is available on this part. So switch back into the power circuit, select to insert symbol. We've got a three pole normally open power contactor there. I'll just place that down, form an association with the existing component, KM1, like so. That then automatically cross references to the symbol. Pin numbering is adopted and also the technical characteristics. 
and if we go back to the components list we can see that that's now been added to and we could just take a look at a preview of the coil in the other drawing and you can see that the cross-referencing is being carried out in real time online. Okay, now um, we do need to play some terminals connecting to the motor, um, but I'd prefer to do that rather than in the schematic, I'll do that through the single line diagram. So just switching back in here, go to the line diagram tab, insert symbol, same as with a schematic drawing, place down a pump unit, associate it once again to the existing pump unit or motor on the other drawing, OK on that. You can see that the technical characteristics are picked up from the scheme drawing. Then just going to draw in a cable connecting the pump to the terminal strip, which is X1. I'm going to reserve a cable um, which is going to be used to form the connections between the pump and the terminal strip, like so. And I can just clean up the placement of that data just by simply moving the information around. And by right clicking on this wire I can carry out detailed cabling as well. So I can specify that the motor, which you can see previewed here, I want that pin information to connect via this cable using these conductors to these three terminals like so. Close that down. Nothing much happens on the single line diagram, but if we go back into the power circuit, choose to place down a number of terminals, place them like so, associate them to the terminal strip X1, OK all terminals, you can see that the cable and condu conductor information is automatically adopted from the line diagram and is annotated into your schematic. And this is bi-directional, so you could make the changes in the scheme, they're updated in the line diagram, do them in the line diagram, they're updated in the scheme. So, um, just to finish up on this drawing, we've got um, uh, a potential which is continuing in another drawing, you can see that annotated here on wire number 4. I'm just going to do that for wire number 2 as well through the Manage Origin and Destination arrows. Uh, select to start there, continue on to drawing number 2, that updates this information and we can easily just navigate and go to the other drawing, see that the cross-referencing has indeed been completed. And um, just before we carry on into the more complex design, I'd like to show you another way of uh, displaying information relative to a symbol. And this is through the use of connection labels. And here we have a, a tabular connection label, which I'm just going to place down here. I'm going to form an association with the coil KM1. OK on there. And you can see that that neatly shows the technical characteristics of KM1, the pin information, so the origin information, what it's connecting to, the wire that it's connecting on, um, wire length, if that data has been um, updated from uh, SolidWorks Electrical 3D, size of the wire, unit size for the wire, wire colour indeed. So for example we can see A1 connects to terminal X17 and the wire colour is green. We can see here A1, X17 and if we check on the wire properties here, you can see that the colour indeed is green. And if I were to change that, say, you know, that's going to be blue now, go OK on that, you can see that that updates in real time regardless of where the connection label is within your project. Um, obviously, I don't want this to be blue, so I'll just switch that back to green, like so. And now we can... Um, just finish up here, obviously we need these wires numbered, which I drew in the other drawing, so I've just got a process, number wires, number all of those potentials, that of course is updated inside the power circuit. And now we can switch over to SolidWorks Electrical 3D. Um, here we can see the project manager, highlighted in red is the project that we've just been working on, because it is a multi-user environment. Just going to choose to open that up, it's just warning me that somebody else is working on the project, but that's fine. I'll just expand on here, open up one of these assemblies. We've got um, an electrical assembly here, which I'm just choosing to open up now. Shut down a couple of these toolbars. And uh, we'll soon see the components tree, which um, we were looking at 
in uh, 2D is also available here because um, there is a real-time link between the components database so a change made in 3D is reflected in 2D a change made in 2D is reflected in 3D uh, now most of the components are placed um, we can see those which are not currently placed so everything's placed on the door we've only got one component to place on the chassis or back plate just going to choose to insert that and place that down like so on the rail and from here what we can then do is choose to wire up the uh, cabinet itself now in order to do that you just choose to route wires I'm just going to use a 3d sketch route okay on there and that will analyze the from to connection information from the 2d schematics it will also then compare it against the position of the components within the cabinet itself and work out the optimized route to connect the devices up. And that, of course, will automatically um, reflect in the form of length information back into the 2D environment. Uh, now, in addition to this, we can also segregate and choose to route wires in a different way. You can see I've got um, high and low voltage wires running next to each other here. So what I'm going to choose to do is to segregate a particular wire style. I'm just going to segregate this wire style. And I'm going to exclude it from uh, this raceway, like so. Now, nothing happens at the moment, but if I route wires again, delete the existing route that will then automatically reanalyze the data and um, then route the wires round the other way um, which is obviously not the optimal length but it's defined based upon um, my requirements for this particular design now of course um, we can include uh, photorealistic uh, wiring as well um, and as I've only got a limited time um, I've already carried that out just chosen to hide the wiring so I'm just going to uh, show that now and as soon as you can as soon as these turn on you can see the kind of um, end results that you can expect to find for the presentation of your drawings. Um, now, of course, um, any project would not be complete unless we did um, some reporting. Uh, this can be carried out from within 2D or 3D, depending upon your preference. Um, what I'm gonna do is just go to the project command, reports, and I'm just gonna generate these reports as drawing files. Okay on there that automatically generates my drawings. You can see that they are now shown inside the um, project uh, tab here and we can preview them from within SOLIDWORKS or if we wanted to we could switch over to 2D and open up the drawings here and review them within this environment if we preferred. And that's a very, very quick look at SOLIDWORKS Electrical 2D and 3D. Um, thank you very much for your time. SOLIDWORKS Electrical Strategies Using SOLIDWORKS Electrical, you will be able to produce work faster due to the highly efficient tools for creating schematics in the unique ability to facilitate collaboration amongst all electrical designers involved. The consistency offered from the sharing of data libraries and project files as well as the ability to generate a unified bill of materials helps reduce errors that would result in rework and scrap. When we combine these two benefits, the natural result is to reduce development costs while improving time to market. SOLIDWORKS Electrical Design Software Streamlining collaborative design involving mechanical and electrical groups, real-time collaboration, unification of design process across disciplines, simplification of day-to-day -day design tasks, reduction of product development cycle time, reduction of manufacturing defect and scrap, overall cost savings.